This video is going to have a look at mail on the iPad and look at how it's changed in iOS 7, some of the new features and settings and how to configure accounts. The main things that have changed in iOS 7 mail is the addition of custom mailboxes and searching for mail uh, and how you manage messages. There's more animation now to help you deal with management of messages. Largely the settings haven't changed that much. Let's start with settings. So I've got the settings app and locate mail contacts calendars. And at the top there is the account section. So this is where you add mail accounts. So adding an account, particularly if you have an iCloud, Exchange, Google, Yahoo, AOL, Outlook, which used to be Hotmail. It's quite a simple process to add those. For example, tapping Gmail, just putting in your Gmail address and your password and give it a description and, and next then really it sets itself up. The problem is with other so if you have a uh, an ISP like Telstra or Vodafone or Optus then you need to get the settings for those mail accounts from their websites. Once you have an account, go back, you can set up so if I go into my Gmail, tap that account you can indicate whether you want that account to send and receive mail, contacts and calendars and notes, turn them on and off. You can delete the account from there. And if you go into the account, then you can look at the specific settings, so the outgoing server, etc. But more importantly, in the advanced, uh, you need to indicate how do you want your deleted messages to be dealt with. When I delete a message in Gmail, I want it to go straight into the deleted mailbox, not archived. So you've got to make some decisions on how do you want your deleted messages to be dealt with. So back into the mail. There's some settings there in the middle there that you need to go through. Uh, preview, two lines, no lines up to five lines. So if I went into five lines and go into the mailbox, any mailbox, and have a look in the summary there on the in the on the left. Uh, is each mail message with the first five lines of the message. So you can see by scrolling up and down whether you want to actually open it and read it. The blue dots indicate that's an unread message. So back in the settings, make that two. Uh, two. Look at the difference. Oh, there's only two lines per mail message. And you can see briefly what that message is about, and there's more of them. Back in the settings. With uh, new iOS, you can uh, elect to have your flag is either a shape or a color, but only orange and only an orange shape. So when you flag a message, uh, I've, I've elected to have it as a shape. So going back into mail, and if I want to flag it, I swipe to the left, the message, and more, and then I can flag it. And now it has that orange flag. And you can search for flag messages, which we'll look at in shortly. Uh, the only other one there is organized by thread. So if you have conversations, messages back and forward to somebody, and you reply to each other, you can group those together by thread. And there's some other ones there. Uh, blind carbon copy yourself. Instead of having your signature as a default saying sent from my iPad, you can come up with your own signatures, a different one for every individual account, or the same one for all accounts. There's not much change in the settings from iOS 6 to iOS 7, apart from the flag style. Nothing else has changed. Where the changes are, are in the actual app. So into the mailbox itself. And if I wanted to search for mail, in, the, in iOS 6, when you're searching for mail, you wouldn't be able to find something that goes back years and years and years. Now in Gmail, for example, I have messages that go back to 2007. Now you can search for uh, in individual mailboxes, or you can search all your inboxes. Uh, I just want to search Gmail, and I'm searching for something I know I got in 2007, which was a something to a site called Juiced. And uh, it searches all the mailboxes, and it's searching all of my uh, mail on Gmail. So going back to 2007, it's brought up those messages. And anything to do 
with that word. So these two are from the Gmail mailbox and now it's searching everything else. Now you can search by year. So if I wanted to search for messages that occurred in 2009 and search, and then it will look for anything else uh, in any other mailbox. And so if you weren't quite sure what the mail message was, but you knew what year it was, you can search by year. Now that is new in iOS 7 search. iOS 7 also brings custom mailboxes. This is all of the mailboxes that I have from the different mail accounts. Now if I tap the edits, I can also now include uh, all flagged mail, all unread mail, all mail that's going to or carbon copied, all, my, all mail with attachments, all drafts, all trash. And to select that one, all we do is actually tick it, tap it to tick it. I also want to know, often, all sent mail. And now I can move them around, so I'd like attachments to be up here. Perhaps VIP at the top. All inboxes, I rarely use that. So you can move them around. If you want to hide a mailbox, I, I don't want to see uh, the big pond one, I can tick it and that will remove it and then done. So that's a, a rearranged view of my mailboxes. So next time I want to see all the mail, and this is going to look at all mailboxes that have attachments. But it's going back to 2008. So it's searching for attachments all the way back to 2008. So it combines that searching with the filtering. If I want to bring that back, the one I just hid, I can edit it, and I want that one to come back, and done. So I can look at in my in my mail, I can look at mail by uh, inbox, specific um, inbox for each account, or I can look at all inboxes at one in one go. If you never want to miss an email from an important contact, put that contact into the VIP section. So tapping the I and you can then add a specific email address from your contacts or you can manually enter one so I could add I've got two there already so I could add a third one it goes into the contacts where I can then pick a contact so those that are bold have email addresses within that contact those that are grayed out do not have email addresses associated with them I could put in another email address so uh, an insta paper one for example and then for each email address or everything that comes into the VIP I can set a specific sound for it so I've now got three email addresses in my VIP mailbox if I set an alert it will take me to the notification center and looking in the mail and the VIP section and I can have different sounds so there are new sounds in iOS so I can go through and check different sounds for each of those VIP messages that are different from the whoosh that I use for the normal sounds. So perhaps that one, I'm going to store that as the default sound so that every time a message comes in from my VIP contacts, it will alert me with that sound. Now managing messages. I'm going into one of the mailboxes. Now you can flag mail, you can move it, you can delete it. And to manage a single message, just swipe to the left on a message which brings up some animation. I can trash that message by tapping on the trash and immediately it's deleted. You get another message. If I want to do more with it, I can either reply to it or forward it, flag it, mark it as unread, move it to junk, move the actual message into another mailbox so you can manage an individual message. I'm going to flag that one. You can, in, I mean up here, you can flag an individual message up here as well. There's the flag. This one will put it into a folder. This will trash it. This one will reply or forward or print. This one is to compose a message. But if you try, if you're going reading, reading through your mailbox and just manage them one by one, you can do them one by one. I'm going to unflag that one, and I'm going to trash that one. Reply to that one. So you can do things one by one that way. Now, if you want to do multiple messages, tap the edit. So I could delete all of these just by reading through that. Um, inbox and deleting and trash and because I turned on in the settings ask before you delete a message it's going to ask me and I can trash all those now I've gone into the trash 
And if you want to mark everything as read, pick another one. All those messages have a blue dot indicating they have not been read. Uh, I can do an edit and select them all and mark them all as read, depending on how you want to manage your mail. So multiple messages have been changed. They can also drill down further into each specific account. So I could go into my big pond account and if there was anything in the trash that shouldn't be there, I can move it back. So if this message, this one needs to go back into the inbox, I can edit that, select it and move it and put it back into the inbox. Now the other thing you can do with custom mailboxes is add a specific folder. So in my Gmail account, for example, I have mail sorted into labels and sorted into folders. So instead of drilling down into that, if I was always accessing a specific folder, I can add that as a custom mailbox. So by going into edits and add the mailbox, I want a folder out of my Gmail. And let's just pick this one and done. And done. And there's the folder there and I can move that up to a space, then tap done. And now I can search that folder amongst all the mailboxes. So anything that comes in from my, from my Audible account goes into that folder. And then I can see that all specifically linked together. That's a custom mailbox.
The main things that have changed in iOS 7 mail is the addition of custom mailboxes and searching for mail uh, and how you manage messages. There's more animation now to help you deal with management of messages. Largely the settings haven't changed that much nor adding accounts.